Alright guys, welcome to episode 109 of Dope Talk TV It's your truly low key, got John here with me, got the dogs put up You already know how to fuck a rockin' man We appreciate up, man? everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, alright? Every time And listen man, go down in the description, get yourself some merch for Teespring And uh, yeah man, just cop a shirt or something, cop your little fucking hat or whatever it is for your dog. We yeah, even got dog. Like, what you mean? Dog. We got dog fucking clothes. Clothing. Like we got all. We got it all. We got clothes for women. So all you gotta do is go over there and check it out. All right. But yeah, man. We bite. We bite. We bite. We back. Like your J. Like your blunt. Pack your bomb. Pack your bowl. Whatever it is that you gotta do, man. Get your edibles ready. You know how the fuck we rock, man. We fucking getting litty titty. All right. Litty is a titty. How we feeling today, bro? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Uh. Man, I'm pretty high right now. I had my coffee. You know what I mean? I don't know about y'all, but I need coffee in the morning. If not, I won't even remember my name, where I live. You know hey, what I mean? Hey, it's that serious. Round of applause for coffee drinkers out there. It gets serious. I don't really drink coffee, man. I drink bangs, okay? I drink bangs. I like um, bangs. I like the bangs. I drink bangs. I, did, I, did, I don't know what it is about coffee, man. It's like... Like when I worked when we worked at Just Force and we drank coffee after I stopped drinking, like I used to get headaches and shit. I didn't like that shit. Yeah, yeah, it gives you headaches. Um, it still yeah, does. Yeah, like you day get addicted me. to it, bro. Yeah, like, that's bro. what it is. It's a withdrawal. Um, I remember the first time I asked my buddy, uh, "Do you want a bang?" <laughs> and he was just like, "What'd you fucking like, say to me?" I was don't like, "Do you, you want a ever bang in your life?" <laughs> Say that to me again before I realign your jaw. No, nah, for real. That <laughs> uh, No, nah, it was really awkward because I didn't really mean it like that. I, and then like he was like, what the fuck? And I was just like, was oh, bang. shit. I was like a bang. And My was, dog was testing the waters. <laughs> and he's like, he was testing the waters. He's like, what the fuck, bro? Nah, man. I only slept with a guy once. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> On a Wednesday. <laughs> On a Wednesday before. On a day. Okay. But yeah, yeah, that's fucking gay. <laughs> Uh, shout out to all the gays. I still love you. Yeah, man. Shout out to the gay community, man. We love y'all. Nah, we, love we love everybody. We love everybody. But listen, man. One thing I don't like, though, one thing I don't love is women's cars. I don't know why. Listen, man. Y'all y'all tires are always bald. <laughs> You're always a year and a half past due on your oil change. A year. And you're fucking... <laughs> Mitch, you don't even fucking... And, yeah, and you're fucking... Your car is just dirty, nah, bro. Like, bro. how are women's cars so dirty? Nah, the, nah, I don't get it. Y'all women think, like, these mechanical issues will just not happen. You just, just turn on the... You just, you just turn on that car and you go. You don't even let the... You don't even let the oil get into the engine before you have it in second before gear. Before you fucking dip. Yeah, that your, tire, <laughs> your ball tires are spinning before you fucking... Your shit's even on all the way. Bro, the oil's not even in the fucking oil cap before you fucking... And t- turn that bitch in reverse, bitch. That bitch is ready to fucking blow up. No, listen, ladies. A lot of you guys need to hear this. That rattling noise that's under your hood is not going away by itself. <laughs> you have to go get that shit checked the fuck out. All right? Like, you Yo, can't just I fucking turn God. it on and keep fucking going. Yo, and don't get me wrong, bro. I do certain <laughs> things like, you know, I need a new windshield wipers. You know, it's the yeah. little shit. I'll hold off for a little I'm bit. I'm going to hold off. Like, when my key broke, you know what I mean? And <laughs> I had to glue that bitch. I had to glue <laughs> I had to, listen, listen. Nah, this thing is worse than y'all. <laughs> nah, bro, bro, I'm pretty bad too, bro. I got a key that's broken. It's been broken for like listen. Fucking there's two motherfuckers two that I've known that are <laughs> so cheap about their fucking cars. The first one, the king of kings, is Toby. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, bro. This guy, this guy's the most cheapest guy I've ever met. He has holes in his underwear. Six years. He he'll deny it and say four or some shit. Yeah. But six years, I knew the motherfucker. He didn't have AC in his truck. Yeah, no, I know. Thank the Lord that he does now. Yo, I feel bad for you, Because this summer was bad. Like, this summer's been hot. You would have been fucking having a heat stroke. Tori was tired of using your fucking car, bro. Your <laughs> wife is tired of using your car. She wants to use fucking yours. She wants fucking AC, bro. Yeah, bro, but he <laughs> finally fuck? fixed it after, like, six years. And nah, that truck is comfortable, though, No, man. it's a nice truck. It's a nice you truck. You look at the truck, you're like, wow, it definitely has AC inside. Yeah, you look <laughs> at it, and you're like, yo, that shit's smooth. <laughs> you're sitting inside, bitch, and your eyes are rolling in the back of your fucking head. <laughs> bitch. There was one time, bro, I almost passed out in the heat, bro. This heat series in Florida, man. Nah, Florida is like an oven, man. Nah, Florida for is like an oven. I've almost passed out a few times in this bitch. That shit, that shit ain't no joke, bro. My he dog, hit you. My dog said his sugar was low. And he's not even diabetic, all right? So that's how nah, hot it is. Bro, I, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, I fucking <laughs> fell asleep for like 
One point seven seconds, no more, no less. One point seven seconds. I swear. And I woke up in fucking hot sweats, and I was in the car, and I was like, "Wow, yeah. this is the hottest fucking thing I've ever fucking been in in my fucking life." Yeah, it's been. It, it gets pretty serious, man. Like, so make sure you drink your water out. Yeah, here. you got to drink your water. Make sure if you can park under some shade, bro. Because if you don't have no <laughs> listen, if you have no tents and you're parking in the middle of the sun. It's going to be, no joking, it's literally going to be like 150, 160 degrees by the time you get back to your car. If you work all day and it's a seven-hour shift and you get back to your car after a sunny day. Mm, you better crack the you window. You better just open all four doors and let the heat get out for a fucking few seconds because you're going to pass out. Nah, but Damn, people, <laughs> we keep fucking, Yo, you know, we keep fucking <laughs> playing footsies over yeah, here. bro, what the, the fuck, man? Guy. Just tell me my foot's nice. I told you my feet is nice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... But listen, guys, fucking, I don't know about y'all, but I can't work outside. Yeah, man, there's something about, like, hard labor outside that's just not for me. I did it, and no, I'm not doing it again. Nah, I, did you see? <laughs> I sent a picture out to all my homies, and I saw the old work truck that we used to fucking ride in, and I fucking sent, I sent that bitch out. I said, fuck that. I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not no, doing it. Nah, but I'm just that, not breaking real. my back. I always say this. I always say this. But I'm just not going to do it no more. Yeah, nah, bro. I think we, it's just the age thing. Yeah. We reached that age. We did it, nigga, at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We did it, bro. We already, we've been through that stage. Like, yeah. Now it's like, fuck you. Let the youngins go break the fucking back, nigga. I'm about to be 30 soon. Like, fuck you. I'm not trying to break my back no more. Nah, like, for, for real. real. Fuck that. For real, man. for real. Nah, but, but listen, guys. We, we got to come to a conclusion. We got to come to We came to a conclusion yeah, already. Yeah. Now nah, we don't got to come. We came to a conclusion. We came to one. Right? Listen. Listen. Y'all women are some fucking drunkies, man. No, not. Y'all like, drink more fuck. than me. My grandmother can drink way more beers than me. I'm listen, not playing with you. Listen. And no, she's I like, believe she's it. almost 80. Listen, bro, there's something about y'all women. I don't know what it is about that liquid courage, the liquid lightning. <laughs> but they fuck, bro, no, nah, they, they drink, bro. Like, yeah, they drink and they're able to continue. And like, I'm like, I feel like fuck. smoking is more of a man thing and drinking is more of a woman thing. No, nah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think, I think so. they I think they do like both gotta, a lot. I like, mean, yeah, but like you gotta I, think about it like if if you ever look at like these fucking like rich parties and shit, it's usually like the men smoking cigars and then like the women with a glass of fucking wine. Or it, it, you know it's what I'm always saying? switching. It's always switching because the women used to smoke cigarettes, the little tiny long cigarettes. Yeah, but that's that's like a woman thing. Yeah, like, it's like it. I don't but know. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's both, bro. It depends. It depends on where you're from and what you, you know. what I mean, but I the women that I've been around, they smoke more, more than me they and drink, they drink more. They than drink me. more than they smoke. They Most, smoke and drink more than me. Yeah, bro. I, I'm like, not I, playing with you. The smoking part, I've only met a few girls that, that really, really smoke like that. A lot of them front like they do, and then they, like, take a few puffs, and then that's it. But, like... That's me now. But, like, nah, like, women, y'all drink a lot more than guys, man. It's fucking weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's a, it's it's crazy, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I met some people that get hammered, like, guys that know how to drink, too. Like, I know... I got some homies oh, that yeah. drink, you know? Alcoholics. That's what we everyone, call them. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. <laughs> I know people that pass out when they drink. I know people that fucking just get really fucking wild. And I know people that just fucking... They just chew. You know? Everybody's yeah. different, so... And everybody has their own tolerance, I guess, you know? Yeah, it's like anything else, bro. Your tolerance level, bro, is important. You gotta know that shit. Mm-hmm. Because you make yourself look like a fucking idiot or kill yourself doing some stupid shit. Like, yeah, drinking and not knowing your level, bro, it could lead to a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> like, my cousin always told me that uh, drinking and and make sure if you're drinking, stay away from some females, man, or stay away from females. Don't 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 involve females with alcohol. Yeah, no. He said a it's lot a of bad girls, thing. a lot of girls cry rape after they have a drunk night out. Like they'll go out. A lot of girls, shit does happen to them, and for the real victims. You Yo. guys aren't included in yeah, this. Yeah, you're not. But there's a lot of there's a lot of females that'll go out, they'll get drunk, they'll go home with some guy that they choke like they knew what they were doing in the moment. Even though you were a little bit tipsy, you knew what you were doing. You're a little bit horny. You went home, yeah. you had a night with that that person, and the next day you're like, Oh fuck, I have a man, I can't get caught or whatever. Like there's so many there's a thousand different reasons why women will do it, but they'll really be called rape when they know damn well that man didn't really rape them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or like, like they put their hands on them, you know? Yeah. Like, like there was a situation that I seen that, yo, like a woman hit a man. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's not right 
For real. Like, yeah. if, if somebody right. says, yo, like, let's back off. Let me back off. I need my space. Leave me alone for right now. Give them their fucking space. Don't put your hands on them. And then call, like, oh, like, you hit me or something. Like, nah. It, like, it, it's, it's bad on both ends. Like, you shouldn't have hit him. And you shouldn't have reacted and pushed her. Yeah, I think everybody should keep yeah, their hands to just, themselves uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, that's a fact. I completely Everyone. agree. I completely agree. Men and women should both keep their, hair, their hands to themselves. But it also comes down to hanging around people with a, a certain maturity level. Yep. That's really what it comes down to because like, we had some wild nights out and shit, but I never saw, I never saw like that type of shit. I never, be, you know I saying? never it's been like with a woman shit. that hit me in the face. Yeah, never, me me never. Either. Like it's never even, it's never even come close to getting to that point. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of. But that also comes down to us being the deescalate, the the people that deescalate. Yeah, you know, like I'm not a person like if a woman wants an argument, I'm not arguing, bro. Yeah, facts. Like I'm not gonna sit here and yell. I'm not gonna sit here and get loud. No. Like I'll literally just let you argue by yourself. Yeah. And if that makes you more mad, that's fine. I'll wait till you calm down from that. But we can't talk about what we need to talk about if we're both fucking yelling at each other. Yeah, it's not it's not really gonna get you nowhere. Uh, but yeah, man, I can't I can't imagine that, bro. I really can't, man. Cause, yeah, it's just bro. Because it's not even there's not even there's a I've that's been hit in the face. I've been punched in the face before. We all of have. Course, well, not I can't say we all. I can't speak for everybody, but you know what I mean. Like it's all right. I get it. You get into a fight, whatever. But like, just like. I really feel like women really need to know their spot. Like they really feel like it's okay to do that. Like it, it's not, it's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah, like it, it's not, there's that double standard, but yeah. that, that's a double standard where it's like, Oh, like it's just so weird to, where, where things are in today's society. Like, and who, like the cops, like, it's who, like how yeah. is it that, that a woman can hit a man and then it's like, Oh, she's not, she's not strong enough to do any damage. So it's okay. But if you were to react and slap her back and she falls on the floor and acts like... It's not even that. It's like, come on, bro. Like <laughs> She could say. She could have somebody else say. Because it's, all it takes is, is having somebody that was a... a, a, a what was a suspect? Not a suspect. Uh, a witness. Mm -hmm. Right? All they have to have is... Who are they going to choose, bro? Like, come on. Let's be real in this world. Like, who do you think they're going to choose? The women yeah. or the guy? Yeah, of course. Most, most In most situations, men go to jail. But that's why, like, honestly, I don't give a fuck... I've said it a billion times. I don't care how bad you are, bitch. I don't care. I don't care how fat your ass is. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If you bring problems, you can stay clear the fuck away from me. Yeah, because we don't straight I don't up like, like that. I'm not trying to do. I'm not trying. That's just so messy, bro. Yeah, that's just so messy. Like if it gets to that situation where you're fucking swinging at me in public, like what? That doesn't. It doesn't like, make are you sense. crazy. I, I, uh, you'll never see me again. Bro. Like, like I yeah, promise you, you'll ever, never. See, you'll ever. never hear from me. You'll never see me again. I don't give a fuck how many times you apologize. Or yeah. none of that, like the, yeah, the, bro. You stay over there, peace. Like I could tell you're not all the way there. Bro. You're not. You're not and there yet. That's not yet. the type of person that I want to even fucking chill with. The level of disrespect is real. Yeah, don't like touch that, my face. Yeah, like I've ever. never in my life, I've never in my life fucking disrespected a woman like that. Yeah, I, I feel like that's part of the reason why why it's never happened to me too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, but it's still like. There's just crazy women out there, bro. There's women that it, you don't even really have to do much, and they're go, they're flying off the handle like that. That that goes to it, it's deeper though. It gets it gets deeper than that. It gets like you know like what type well, listen, of it you, goes back to how the you're being raised. Is the environment you're raised in? Is the environment that you're in? Y'all are out. You're drinking. You don't know if she's over here low key taking half a pill or some. Sh you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and now she's acting wild. Like you don't know what's going on. And like what you, you said, what like, the women's parents would tell you a lot about it. Yeah, exactly. Like. Ultimately, bro, women's parents will tell you everything you need to know about a girl. Like, there's, there's, like, at, I'm at that age where it's like back then I used to care more about, like, oh, whatever. Like, fuck all that other shit, bro. Look at, look at their parents. And, you know what I'm yeah, saying? What how they it, act, how they, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything. Like, it'll tell you a lot. It'll like, if they're a lot. victim, like, if they blame, they blame other people a lot. And then you look at her and she, that's what she does all day is being a victim. Like, oh, yeah. it's not my fault. Take a, just take accountability. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like, it, you got to come from a different type of family. The apple doesn't family. fall far from the tree. That saying's real. Yeah. And it's not even about the family. Like, that'll tell you a lot. It'll tell you a lot, too. But it's like, yeah. that's not even an excuse. Because I've met a lot of girls, bro, that they come from certain backgrounds and shit. And they still 
they got their shit together. Exactly. They have a completely different mentality. Yeah. But that comes from not wanting to be in that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's well, like I don't give a fuck what I got to do. I'm a, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go back to that life. Yeah, it's like know? a family that's that's full of alcoholics, and then you decide not to drink. You know, I see people who do it all the time. Facts. My cousin, my cousin was around that all the time, and he doesn't have one single beer, not even one. He's not. He hasn't drank in like over ten years, fifteen years. Man, I don't even think. Maybe, yeah, maybe longer. He told me that he got into a, a situation when he was in the Marines, and it. it it didn't look good. Like it was a situation with alcohol where we were just talking about situation like that. And you know what I mean? All it takes is that just shit could fuck up your life. Man. They're, again, they're going to choose the women over the guys. Of so course. we have to watch our ass at the end of the day. Yeah, you always listen, have to watch your ass as men, as men, you got to cover yourself. Yep. You got to cover yourself, man. And you got to be careful with what you do, bro. Yeah. Cause women, women, some women will twist words and they'll make it seem like it's a situation that is not. Yeah. You Happens know, but, every day. Yeah, and and men do it too. Men do it too, but it's like I feel like when it comes to the law, the law will believe a woman without any type of proof. For example, like go not trying to go, beat a dead horse, but that Bill Cosby situation. Yeah, like he literally got sent to prison without proof. Yeah, like what else can we say about that? Like there was absolutely zero proof. There was nothing there besides. Conspiracy. He say, she say. He barely. Like, it was like conspiracy. Court, I've never heard of a case where in the court of law they lock somebody up for he say, she say. Yeah, that is kind of a weird. judge will literally tell you. Like, if you watch watch any of these judges on TV, all of them will tell you. Like, I don't care about what anybody said. Are they here? Can they can they come up here and testify right now? Yeah. If they can't, then shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear Supposedly, what they said. I suppose there was a lot of women that testified. It but, was, but again, it was just like he said. She no, said there was no, no proof. proof. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's it was like just word you of gotta mouth. go. There's a ste- there's a process. Yeah. There's a due process you have to go through, and and people can get upset at me all they want. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like when it comes to the law, you don't. There's no bending. There's no breaking the law. There's none of that. It, like the law is the law, and the law says that you have to give somebody their due, their due justice. Have them go through through a trial. Have them go th- to trial and be prosecuted, like indicted. Yeah. If you're not indicted, bro, you're not you're not fucking you're not guilty. Yep. But they skipped all of that process and uh, and threw him in fucking jail off rip. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like that to me is crazy. Like I, like that's crazy, bro. It just goes to show you, like like you just said, bro. He say she say shit can literally get you fucking locked up. Yeah, you know and put you in and put you in situations where it's like. Man, that's just not true. Yeah, and I feel bad for those type yeah. of people. Because if you're in, like, think about it. If you're in prison, everybody says that they didn't do it. Yeah. But if you really didn't do it, it's, it's like, like, that shit will drive you insane. Because you'll tell people, like, bro, I really didn't do it. And even the, even the other inmates will be like, yeah, yeah, bro, we all didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course, of course you didn't do it. You're like, nigga, <laughs> I didn't do this shit, I bro. Didn't do like, it, I didn't bro. meet this bitch. I never heard her, never saw her in my life. Damn, that's crazy. Or you just went on a fucking simple date and it didn't work out or some shit. Man. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck, man. Man, I heard of a situation where a guy, a guy was supposed to go home with a girl, right? This is like on TV. This is a big ass case. A cop ended up going to jail for like life or some shit like that. But, um, there was there was these this drunk guy and this drunk girl. They were trying to go home together, right? Their friends stopped them from going home together because they were too drunk. So the guy they they had him like leave or whatever, and then a cop was at the scene. So they were like, "Yo, can you get her home safely?" Yeah. The cop was like, "Yeah, I could get her home." The cop ended up going get in a hotel. Him and the girl ended up having fucking sex. The girl cried rape, and now the cop is going to jail for like twenty five years. Damn. Or some crazy shit like that. But you got to think about this. What if it would have been the other guy that was actually trying to go home with her and she was all down for it and then he went home and it would have been him in that situation? What if we switch the roles and say the guy got raped? Yeah. Nah, facts. What about that? Facts. How would, how would that play out? You think people believe that? That shit makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that, like, yeah, that yeah. shit happens. Pe- people think that you only get molested by, like, you know, the opposite. Um, how would you say that? You only get molested, like the women only get molested by men or like, you know, the, the guys get molested by fucking women only. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know nah. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's like. 
it goes both ways. Yeah, bro. yeah. It's like it's it switches roles. Like sometimes it could be the the man getting molested by the girl. You know what I mean? And it's that like, happens a lot too. Like, what if they get drugged up? What if they get too drunk and they can't fucking? They wake up and they're like, "Oh shit!" Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's situations like Cardi B. Yeah, you know, like yeah, there's different. Crazy. There's different things. It's crazy like, how she talks about that openly, but it's looked at differently because she's a woman. Yeah. If it was a man out here talking about like, "Oh yeah, I used to drug bitches back in the day and just like fucking rob them." Oh uh, yeah. Women will be out here. It would be an outrage. If yeah, it would be but, an outrage. But the way women think is like, is like, oh well, he's a dumbass nigga. He shouldn't have got himself in that situation, right? Or like he's a strong like he's man. A, he's a strong man. You should. You could have fought your way out of it. What if he well, couldn't? What if you got some slipped in your drink? What if thinking he, everything was good and she was just y'all? You're vibing at the bar. What if, you buy her a drink? She buys you one back. Y'all vibing like that, and then one of the drinks she bought you, she fucking slips on a minute. Like yeah. you don't know what. What if on he's on, not right? a strong man? Yeah, everybody ain't fucking a big <laughs> ass guy. There's guys out there that are, yo, ladies. Contrary to y'all belief, every man ain't fucking over six foot and fucking. You know what I'm saying? And built, strong, built like the Rock. Okay, there's guys out here that are five five, five six, five seven, yeah. five eight. There's they're shorter stature men, or they're skinny you know and saying? they don't like. I got I, anything. Yeah, like it, it. It goes both ways, but it's crazy, bro. I think Boosie was talking about how like. <laughs> How like he's been groped multiple times, like mm. doing shows and on stage and certain shit. I've been, bro, as a man, I've been groped by women at the fucking club. Like they'll fucking yeah. walk by and just grab your shit. Yeah, or like smack you know my saying? ass. Like, like you know how many women fucking grab my ass. And I'm not saying like you know it's like all right, cool. Like I, I, it's I just didn't know how to react at that very moment, but. I felt kind of like violated like later. You felt yeah, like, a bitch? like don't like. I understand. I got a plump ass. I understand it. I do squats, baby. My dog baby. got a Georgia peach on his license plate, <laughs> bitch. I just want to check out of fire. Now that's it. Nah, man, but it's fucked up, man. You know, and I, I guess, I guess I've been groped. Yeah, nah. I never had a woman smack my ass. Well, I but had. They, they grabbed my schmeet in the middle of the club a few times, bro. I was like. Uh, it was just one of those things where I was like, bro, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Like, the disrespect. If I were to just walk by you and grab your fucking pussy, you, bro, you'd start swinging on me. You'd, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for real, think about it. Yeah. Like, it'd be a whole different situation. But let's say that she did that and I just reacted and clocked her in her shit. I, people look over, see a girl on the floor and see me and be like, oh, this big ass nigga is a fucking bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Like, he's just abusing girls. Like, no, she just grabbed my fucking meat. Without yeah. my permission Yeah You know what I'm saying like, I just don't understand it You know Cause I understand Women like booties Like they I don't, no, Women <laughs> Listen, do Listen let's women cut the bullshit do. Women appreciate Other women too Yes And that too We gotta start Fucking saying that Hey man. round like, of applause To the up. women That appreciate Other women openly Yo openly you know what I'm it's, it's disrespectful like, When like they it's don't It's like hey babe Let's go to the strip club Together and y'all both admiring a girl. Oh my like, god! Like, oh damn, you see her? She bad, right, babe? Like, she bad. Yo, she, like, I've been in a situation like that. Bro. Hey man, that's a blessing. And nah, he didn't take it as a blessing. She was trying to tell him, like, yo, you can't do this. There's, this is not normal. Oh my god, bro! Like, take it, and then you want to be a fucking crybaby about it, like, bro, like, come on, man, like, I just don't understand it. Like it yeah, was mind blowing. That's, that's, that's a blessing. That's a blessing, bro. Like, blessing, I'm trying to bro. go to the strip club she, with my chick and be cool. And she's literally like, trying both to throw some fucking money yeah, on this bitch she, and smack this ass right she, quick. She, like, she's literally telling you it's okay, and you're and you, and I don't know what's wrong with you. You know what I mean? Like, why are we even here? I was I was just like I was put in an awkward situation, and I was just like, man, man like, that's why I, that's, I literally had to tell him the man that up. third wheeling shit. Yeah, and that like. You gotta you gotta be careful who you go out with, who you double date with, like a lot of things. Like everybody's not ready for certain situations that yeah. come up. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's not normal. Like that's not normal. Yeah, it's not. A lot of female, like all the girls I've dated, like for real, they've all said no. <laughs> like yeah. I'll be like, yo, let's go to the strip club and just nah, nah. Like, They're not trying to. Do, it's like all right, cool. Like I'm not gonna fucking push you to do something you don't want to do. But if it's you have a girl that does that. And yeah. she's willing to do that, bro. Yeah. You better fucking chill and take advantage. You better take advantage, man. You know what I'm saying? You like, you don't I mean? got to be sneaking around with the boys fucking trying to go to a strip yeah, club and not, then get caught. Yeah. Like, nigga, you're doing you can go for, with your girl. She's giving you the green light, my guy. You know what I mean? Wild. So, I don't know, man. Um, everyone's different, though. Everyone has issues. So, But the way I think of it is like, man, people complicate things way too much when it's really, really simple. 
Yeah, sometimes keep it sometimes simple. it is complicated. Sometimes it doesn't have to be. Yeah, just, you know just keep it like, simple. Kiss. Keep yeah, it simple. Keep super it simple, stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping it super simple. <laughs> oh, I thought I cleaned it up. I thought I cleaned it up. Yeah. Cleaned it up. You know what I mean? Nah, but listen, guys. Something I want to talk about real quick is this fucking uh, this fake ass pandemic that they're talking about, right? In Florida in 2020, there were 93,000 overdose overdose deaths. So 93,000 people died from an overdose just in the state of Florida in 2020. Yeah. And there was only 200, 276 people that died from COVID. Like, think about that. So what the fuck is the real pandemic? Is that these fake pills that people are out here fucking selling? Yeah. And killing people with? Or is it the fucking COVID that only killed not even 300 people across a whole state? Yeah, they're they're because guess like it's, I got people that were like in the beginning they were like oh you know I'm not gonna get vaccinated and now they are and I'm just like well I mean that's fine go ahead listen that that's cool there's but a lot of uh, people getting fired like in the NBA you know coaches and stuff like that because they're like all right well you're not gonna get vaccinated then you gotta leave and then they're like all right and that's how they're gonna get all of them yeah you know because they're they're doing they're starting to do that in the NFL I'm pretty sure there's a lot of corporations that are doing that are gonna do that where it's like well yeah. listen we can't have the unvaccinated people working with the vaccinated people so we're gonna have to have you guys leave or just work from home or something but yeah. they're gonna they're gonna fire I feel like they're gonna fire a lot of people bro like but I don't understand it if the vaccine if the vaccine will help you not fucking catch it then what the fuck are you worried about the people that don't have it for? Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? If I were to get vaccinated, I don't give a fuck if you're vaccinated or not, bitch. I got it. I got the vaccine that I think is going to fucking help me. Right. So yeah. what the fuck am I worried about if you have it for it, bro? Yeah. Like, yeah, it doesn't make you see sense. What I'm saying it makes no sense. Yeah. People that have a vaccine and walk around with masks. Yeah. That shit makes no sense. It's like, bro, do you, so you don't believe in the vaccine you took, right? Double mask. I've seen it. I don't get it. Like that means you don't believe in what you what you got vaccinated with. Yeah. Cause if it's like if, if you got vaccinated and you think it's really gonna help you not catch it, then you shouldn't be fucking wearing a mask. Yeah. Like that's just it, that's just my logic with it. I feel you like they're gonna like, they're gonna try to shut down again. I feel like they will. I feel like they will. And it might be for another year and a half, two years. Who knows, bro? I, I hope not. But well, it's just, fine, this is a long road, bro. There was a few people at the beginning when this first came out that said it. They were like, bro, there's going to be a three to five year process. Yeah. And it hasn't even been three years yet. It's so, only been yeah, like I a year. It. It's been like a year and a half, maybe two now. And into two. But it's like. Yeah, nah. I don't know, man. Fu- I, I, I'm tired of it. Yeah, I'm we're going to sit here and they, talk about they, it forever. Wanna, yeah, they want to yeah. fucking, they want to act like it's so deadly, but there's. Literally things that are killing us Lit. every fucking day at a way faster speed and nobody fucking blinks an eye. Yep. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Dead that's ass. Yep. That's it. Man. But yeah, man. Listen, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we rock. All right. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And look, peace of love. We'll catch peace, you on the peace. next one. Peace, peace, peace.